What's going on, Clitch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Duh. It's your boy, Ross. And this is Clitch going. <laughs> Back! To you, ladies and gentlemen, of the bitch today, you feel me? All right, we're going to be checking out um, Woke People Making Fools of Themselves, number eight. Uh, this is on uh, NG. That's the, the channel name. Not good. Kind of, <laughs> that's probably what we're about to see. A whole bunch of not good, no, no sense gooders. making, you know what I'm saying, individuals. Kind of similar to what the homie does, Arco. Shout out to the homie, Arco. Killing it always, trying to save the world from the simps one video at a time. Mm. So, we're going to check this out. Should be uh, interesting. We'll see if we can not get annoyed, but I, I doubt it. Let's get into this. You know, I've always been rather fascinated by Newton's first law, which states that an object in motion stays in motion. So I'll give you an example. As you can see, I'm an object because I'm a woman. Ah, first day, I had 25 <laughs> students. By day two, I had 19. Because six parents switched out of the class because they saw me. And they were like, there's no freaking way. Before I even got a word in. Do I think that it is okay for a parent to see me and go, not around my kid? No, I don't think that's okay. I feel like that's really crossing the line. It's not would you? What? If you have children. Would you take your children out of class if you found on the first day you saw that the teacher was? What is? What was that though? <laughs> Somebody said trans Obama. Come on. <laughs> I'll answer the question though. The I don't know what that was. I was a teacher. What race? I mean, what uh, gender? I don't know. But just off this, if you saw this was going to be your teacher. You're your child, children's teacher for the rest of the year. Uh, would you be concerned? I'd be concerned. I'd be definitely okay. concerned. Okay. You wouldn't make immediate rash decisions. No, right? I would never. Um, I don't judge people by their ideologies. I would be concerned because you just you just seen how they said that. Um, I, I think it's bad that people don't look at me and say, no, I think that's a problem. But it's like. Honestly, you- it's a lot of things that if you've seen people doing certain or looked a certain way, you would take them out. Like, yeah. that's just being honest with you. I'm be it is years. okay for a parent not to Adam see Sandler's. me and go, not around my kid. No, I don't think that's okay. I feel like that's really crossing the line. It's not still quite. the right of the parent to make that decision as to whether or not they want their child to learn from you. Okay. Like, it's still that parent's right. Like, you can disagree right. with their motivations, their motives, their ideas, mm-hmm. you say but that, it is still their child. Like, I could imagine somebody saying that, like, they don't trust, like, a large government. They think there's too much, uh, you know, prone to tyranny or something like that, but also be supportive of an institution like the Catholic Church, which is literally, you know, one guy who is a direct right, line to God. they can't tax. Um, well, I mean, there's... And they don't have a military. That and is... And they can't conscript you. True, right? yeah. And they can't throw you in jail. That is true, yeah. I mean... I right. was... Well, those are major. Those are major and significant. I mean, I get the... I get Conscription the hasn't existed in the U.S. since the Vietnam War. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> true, yes. Yeah, true. You got me. Damn. <laughs> Damn. So, Destiny, Ooh. obviously completely outmatched, and once again shows his complete lack of knowledge going up against Jordan Peterson. I think he's about 600 years too late on the Catholic Church argument. Yeah. What a genius. Obviously, any man called Destiny, you can't trust anyway. He's basically a liberal Not and a, a male feminist. And a lot of what he says I don't agree with. A but one thing I will feminist. say, he's willing to debate people on the right. So I'll give him respect for that, but nothing else. These people will literally question your intelligence based on your education and then fail to define what a woman is. Just curious of your definition. If you feel like people are adults at 16. Well, uh, people are adults geez. at 18. But actually, your brain is not fully developed until you're 25. So we should be having a mm. conversation about whether we should even be doing these surgeries to people at 18. But certainly before 18, it's absurd. I mean, do you think that a 16-year-old can meaningfully consent to having their body parts removed? No. Do you? No? We do not. Yeah, we asked the questions. It's not... The the nigga said, we asked the questions. That's when we know you cooked. Yeah. When when a nigga say, well, we asked the questions here. That's crazy, bro. You cook. Can you give us a summary of your educational background? I'm just curious. You have testified as to a lot of your own research. So I'm curious for what purpose you do that and what background you have to qualify you to speak to that. Well, my background that qualifies me to speak to this is that I'm a human being with a brain and I have a soul. And so, therefore, I think it's a really bad idea to chemically castrate children. That is my experience. And you got to sit in your fucking silence. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Uh Uh-oh. For not giving a fuck. Every single one of you. 
that can't talk about it, that spews fucking racist narratives, stereotypes, denial, gaslight. That's not their reality. Telling black people what the fuck they should think, feel, do, be. Fuck you. Do better. Reject your fucking training, your indoctrination. Question your own goddamn morality racially okay. for Joy once Lucas. in your fucking life. Bro. I'm tired. What's that, them black people? Oh, it's come on. He basically hit the Travis Scott. Right. Oh, oh man. Damn. Why? Come on. Said Otis. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm tired of what my people have done, what they continue to do. I'm fucking sick of it. I'm tired of seeing people suffer. I'm tired of the fucking inequality. And you ought to give a fuck too. <laughs> I'm done. I like his but, message, but it's just the yeah. way the way he's going about it is so cringe. I like what he's saying. He's saying he tired of his people for what they done, man. And, and I can appreciate that, and I love that. It's just how he's saying it, and maybe he is feeling those emotions. So who yeah, am I to say right. he's not feeling those emotions? But when you watching it, it you like damn spoken seasoned, bro. Later. Ah. What is he on about? This dude that bought into the leftist narrative is the same guy that's been on Weight Watchers for 30 years and still blames his five because he's 400 pounds. Just saying. Um, Odds are this guy has zero life accomplishments of note and hates himself more than anything. People who think and act like this typically have very low self esteem and act out in hopes of finding acceptance anywhere they can. It is sad. How white leftists see themselves after complaining about white people online. Oh my god. Literally this guy. Yeah, I don't oh, need to say anymore. They've said it all for me. What, said, what is a woman is not a clickbaity baby title. I think it is. What is a woman? I, I, I'm not trying to answer that. I'm, I'm trying to I, stay. I'm actually now incredibly curious. What is a woman? It's a very simple question. Well, I could see how this would like get. We're doomed. Yeah. If... I told you, bro, we're, we're on that. We're on the clock. Of the we're doomed, bro. Of being white, you know, because it's, it's once we start doing shit like this, where we start, you know, questioning simple, we're doomed. Now nah, you can so argue. I'm just, I'm just trying to stay like very bipartisan, but I, I I just wanted to like ask you like why 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 did you decide to come to Cal Poly? Why did you go on this campaign? Your critics are saying that you're trying to keep people divided. They're urging people not to come talk to you because you're going to spin it. They're welcome to come to the microphone and say whatever they want to me, but they're intellectual cowards and they won't do that. Oh. You know how we heal our divides? By talking to people we disagree with. I, I would agree with that. We will get closer to a civil war if we act like that. We just yell at people we don't like. You dress with, you know, all, you know, with masks on and just with stupid epitaphs. Okay, like that's how you get closer to dividing the country. You mm. heal the country when you allow disagreement. So there's mm. this clip going viral online of a dozen mm. women being asked the following question. Do we need men? <laughs> this is so stupid. I forgive Thanos now. Nah. <laughs> I, was a, I understand too. Fucking. Most answered very quickly, no. <laughs> and only one said she thought women needed a man in their lives. Only one. But when men were asked a similar question, do we need women? Most of them said yes. yes. <laughs> so why do you think that is? Because men are useless. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> love it. And then niggas is clapping. Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm about to break this down with ease. You're on a studio, right? Mm -hmm. You're on a set, TV set. Mm -hmm. Who's the directing this? I'm pretty sure there's a guy directing this. I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure there was a guy that maybe even hooked up your microphone. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure there's a guy that's operating the camera. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure there's a guy that was a man that actually built the studio that y'all are sitting in. Because mm -hmm. most women are not in those type of professions. I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure a guy picked you up if you Good. rode in Uber. Uber. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure a mm -hmm. guy was the one that made the vehicle that picked you up in. Mm -hmm. What are we talking about? 
Wait, and the biggest one of all, the best part is you would not be here if it wasn't for a guy C entering into your mother. Preach, so preacher. that logic Come on. makes absolute no sense. We need each other to keep the world going. If you take out one side, there ain't no more children. I'm done. What the fuck? It's the simplest of things. And if we want to go biblical, who came first? Right. And by the way, I wanted I want to differentiate between straight men and gay men because I think I, I would die without gay men. Nobody can gossip like gay men. Nobody can help you accessorize like gay men. Nobody can help you uh, from keep you from doing harm to your to yourself uh, like gay men. This is a, a, a really a war like on straight like males like. <laughs> That's wild. If she was getting attacked by a said lion, she would want a man to be out there to shoot it. But all right, don't care. All right. Damn, bro. Like I think Steve is very self-sufficient. That's Joy's husband. But like he is. my he is. husband, it takes a village of women to make sure that he's not emaciated, starving. Wait, so you have what? a husband? Then your argument is done. How do you have a husband? Oh, you... That's oh, bro. That's oh, she full of shit, bro. She, she got just... a husband. So first of all, her husband. What? She's full of shit. This is all just to put the narrative. She's full of shit. You have a husband. So because your husband ain't shit, bro. She full of shit, bro. You mad at all? You full of shit, bro. She's she's full of shit. Being and living in his own filth. He can, really? you know. So this is from The View, and they were basically discussing whether or not they need men, which I think is hilarious considering they're sat in a studio built by men. But anyway, who cares, right? 20,000 dislikes to 1.4 thousand likes. I think everybody realizes what they're saying is ridiculous, especially this woman here completely puts her husband down, basically saying he's useless and can't look after right. himself, which they think is funny, okay? But the thing is, if the roles were reversed, imagine he said that. Ooh. I'm pretty sure the show would get canceled. Sort. They'd be saying, Thanks. oh, this, is, this show is misogynistic. You can't be saying this about women. Yeah. How about you, you, no. guys, you guys feel you guys are married I, to people I have that are a, more... I have Handy Manny at home. No. <laughs> he, is, he fixes everything. When things go bump in the night, he's the one that goes downstairs. When there's a bug <clears throat> to be exterminated, he does the extermination. Nope. When there is something to be <laughs> fixed, he fixes it. He throws out the trash Still and he no. throws out the recyclables. <laughs> I enjoy all the man stuff. So he my... Does it that, wait a second. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out now what... It, why old girl just over there? Nope. Well, I'm uh, sorry that your man don't do that shit. Right. I don't know what to tell you. Maybe pick a better guy. I don't know what the fuck you tell you. I'll go get a woman. Oh, fucking bozos, bro. I was going to say that. Okay. She's really talking about a servant. Let's face it. No, it's a handyman. Well, well, she's it's, talking no, about. It's a handyman. Oh, it's a handyman with benefits. We do not. Have, well, but but the things that you're describing. What? You could pay somebody to do that. We're not talking about that. You know, it's actually really ironic wow. and funny at the same time. The only women who can actually watch this TV show more often than not need a man to financially support them. They're sat at home while their husband is at work. And if they want to sit there and agree with what that woman said about, oh, we don't need men. You just pay the handyman. But how are you going to pay the handyman? with your husband's money but yeah a lot of women are actually coming out and they're saying oh no i don't agree with this because i've got sons and they're not useless question of the day six women in a house together six men in a house together which group do you think gets along the longest or picture mm. this building a log house six women versus six men who's going to get the job done? <laughs> that would be comedy gold if anyone's out there with the connections in tv make that a tv show <laughs> Myself gay if my pronouns are he, they, and I'm dating a girl. Oh, what? what? Your pronouns don't equal your gender. This is probably. I agree. Nuke it. Yeah. You we know, got that. Yo, hey, it's, nuke it. Get it so out of here. There's so much shit going on in this Get world. Get it out of right here. Now. Get it out of here. Get it <clears> out of here. I just want y'all to realize. We got they so about to nuke shit. TikTok too. Get, yep. It's, you childish. They, they are. Dog. I know, but it's just the term. But it's so much shit going on in this world with po potentially actual nukes firing off. And we are arguing about what's a woman and a man. 
I don't think people most cr- realize that. Like, you got to really sit down for a mo- just one moment and just think about what we're arguing. These are grown ass tax paying Americans. <clears throat> Where you got homelessness, you have uh, uh, tra- child trafficking, you got um, children being kidnapped, crimes, murders. Fringy and annoying person on the internet. But anyway, believe it or not, this person was actually a teacher up until very recently, and then they got fired. And instead of taking accountability for what they did, basically blamed it on everyone else and said that they was the victim of a hate crime. So let's check it out. I was recently hate crimed for being queer. And as a result of me being hate crimed for being queer, it ultimately led to me being fired from my job as a high school substitute teacher. On October 30th, 2023, I received an email from my HR manager asking to sit down to talk about my social media posts. I hadn't posted about working at school on TikTok in a couple of weeks, and the only post I could think of was where I let the art club kids face paint my Andy face Milanakis. to practice I'm before done. a big football game. When I walked into the meeting, my HR manager asked me if I knew why I was here. They then pulled out a yellow folder and slid two screenshots of two old thirst traps across the table to me. (sighs) After that, I went home and I took the videos down and sent a follow-up email saying that I took the videos down and thanked them again for letting me tell my side of the story and that I love working with my students and would do anything for them. However, knowing the decision was up to the superintendent, who is a white cis older male and who I've never met and has no who? idea who I am yeah. or what I look Don't even try. Like, and the principal, who is also a white cis male, who gave me the vibes that they were not the biggest fan of me and never really knew how to interact with me because of who I am, made me feel like the chances of me not getting fired we're very low. Two weeks after my suspension, That's that shit and a week after the letter had been submitted. Original male, right, or some like cis. Yeah, he goes he- heterosexual. It's just fucking stupid. Fucking. Ugh. I hadn't heard a word yet. I reached out to HR to see if a decision had been made yet. We failed. And almost immediately, my HR manager emailed back and said they had decided on going through with firing me. So obviously this teacher can't take any accountability, has claimed that they were a victim of hate crime because they was fired, but the truth is they just violated the school policy. And if you violate the school policy by posting inappropriate content on TikTok for the yeah. students to see, then you will get fired. Okay, you're delusional, you're in the wrong, stop trying to play the victim. It's Very not because simple. of a cis white male, it's because of you breaking a policy. Simple as that. You can't say that you condemn white supremacy. I'm not I'm not gonna recite some catechism for you. I'm against vicious racial discrimination this country. Am I going to play your silly game of gotcha? No, I'm not. And I know you're going to go print the headline tomorrow. I already know this. Vivek Ramaswamy refuses to condemn white supremacy because you asked a stupid question. The reality is, I condemn vicious racial discrimination in this country, but the kind of vicious and systematic racial discrimination we see today is discrimination on the basis of race in a very different direction. You want to know what the best way is to end discrimination on the basis of race? Stop discriminating on the basis of race. That's how we're going to unite this country. You people have been responsible for dividing this country to a breaking point, creating a projection of national division. I meet people from the south side of Chicago to meetings like this one of every shade of melanin and you with your catechism that you try to Damn. get as politicians to whatever Damn. fake headline you're going to print on the basis of this conversation tomorrow. That's what's dividing this country. Shame on you. That's Damn. exactly the right way to answer Damn. a question like that. It's designed to set him up and waste his time. So props mm-hmm. to him for not taking the bait. What do you think about putting tampons and pads in the men's restroom here on campus for men who have periods? Yeah, absolutely. That's Nuke it, bro. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. God, we need you. All right. We need you, Lord. We really need you. What For what, bro? For your cut? Because, I mean, if you bleeding, then you need to go to the hospital. Because you won't, probably got too much longer. So, let's finish this video. This is infuriating. Essential. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's, there's, uh, there's more than people think. What, men having periods? Mm-hmm. Yeah. By God. Sound like some hemorrhage going Did on Did you there. S- tell them to seek medical help if men are having periods? Well, trans men have periods. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, explain that one to me. Yeah, so uh, so people who have uh, transitioned from female to male, um, you know, obviously, you know, they might still have periods and, you know, if they identify as male, you know, they have the right to go into the men's room. Uh, But if they're still having periods, they have the right to have, you know, the products they need. All right, that's enough of that shit today, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Be delusional. If you don't believe that you are, think that you are. Once you repeat so many times a thing in your head, it's gonna literally come into your life. There is no other way. You can rest now. You made a great job today. Be proud of yourself. You're the bullshit. You could have done better today. Someone forgot that he was his family's last hope. He needs to get back on track before it's too late. Do you want to remain a loser? A lazy shit who can't even stand to run a few miles? Do you want to tell your son? Dad didn't make it because he quit and was too lazy. 75 years. That's how much time you get if you're lucky. 75 years, 75 winters, hey, I like, I like 75 this. spring times, right 75 here. summers, and 75 autumns. Mm-hmm. When you look at it like that, it's not a lot of time, is it? Mm-hmm. Don't waste them. Get your head out of the rat race and forget about the superficial things that preoccupy your existence mm-hmm. and get back to what's important now. Mm-hmm. Right now, this very second. And I'm not saying drop everything and let the world come to a grinding halt. I'm saying that you can become a seeker. You could be loving more, you could be taking some chances, you could be living more, you could be spending more time with your family, you could be getting in touch with the part of you that lives instead of fears, the part of you that loves instead of hates. Oh man, that's crazy, bro. It uh, ended on a much better note. Yeah, we needed that, bro, to to, to kind of dark. Bro, that video was pissing me off. Fucking yeah, bro, it's just a lot of... Bozos, bro. We are surrounded by idiots. Oh my yeah. god, dog. Surrounded by fucking morons. <clears throat> well, if you guys enjoyed that fucking rage inducing video, <laughs> you know what to do, man. Make sure you run up those likes, subscribe. Uh, yeah. <sighs> streets is done. <laughs> That's it. Those just streets is done, eh? Hey, if it getting nuked, whatever, bro. Don't yeah, get it's, it's about time, man. Yep, it's about that time, bro. Look at what we arguing about. Look at the logic, and guess what? These people are gonna keep procreating somehow, and Some way. Uh, we're gonna it's gonna keep evolving to the next thing. So, yep. you know how to uh, kill a weed so more weeds don't grow? You thought it. Love yep. you guys. Spread love, be love. Peace out. Alrighty. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen, I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me cause I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside they know they can't handle half of me.